Mindful Life Practice Community. Welcome to your yin practice. Um, we're going to start this practice in a child's pose. So you're going to come onto your hands and knees and sit your hips back and then rest your forehead. Taking deep breaths in and out. And as you breathe in and as you breathe out, allow your connection to your breath to bring you into this moment. Letting go of whatever you walked into your practice with. Letting go of any worries that are on your mind, of any stress. Letting go of any troubles from your day or your week. And as you let go, just receive the stillness and receive the silence. The last of the, the niyamas is Ishvara Pranidhana. And what Ishvara Pranidhana translates to is surrender. like surrendering to whatever you believe in and trusting in whatever that may be. Whether it's belief in angels or a higher power or the universe or human potential, whatever you believe in. We're going to theme our practice on this concept. This used to be a yama in the yoga sutras that I kind of shied away from. Because I wasn't really born and raised with religious context and I didn't want to offend or, you know, speak on a subject that I was unfamiliar with. But as I become more and more spiritual, I see that this is such a beautiful niyama because it's so inclusive. You know, it's not telling you what to believe. It's just telling you to, to believe, period. So 
Maybe you can think about what you want to devote this practice to. Just taking another breath in your child's pose. And then we're just gonna slowly roll all the way up to seated. And so the next pose that we're gonna take is also gonna be a forward fold. So you're gonna come all the way up onto your feet and then bend the knees and then just grip your palms to opposite elbows and let your head dangle. We're gonna hold this pose for about three minutes. So I saw on, on someone's social media this past week, this quote that said, it said, trust so much in the universe's plan that you no longer get upset when things don't go your way. And I had one of those moments this week. You know, I used to not really believe in anything. And then I had a moment this week where my, my car engine failed. And this is the type of thing that would upset me or stress me out so much in the past, in the past. But this week when it happened to me, I just kind of accepted it. <laughs> I was like, oh, there must be some, you know, greater reason that I have to stay home tonight. And that is the, the magic in, in having a belief in something. It, it kind of helps you see the positives in everything and see the, the purpose and meaning in every moment. Can you take a few more breaths in that forward fold? And then we're gonna come to sit in a crisscross. Just for a moment, allowing that to be a counter posture. So 
soaking in the benefits of the pose. next pose we're going to come into is a low lunge on both sides. So we're going to leave our left knee on the mat and then take a step forward with the right foot. And you might just bring the palms onto the thigh. Now we are going to be here for three minutes. So if you want to cushion your back knee with a blanket or a pillow, feel free. And just let your gaze settle on one point. Something that was pretty amazing to me when I first moved to the Middle East The first time I ever saw a group of people come together in prayer in the, the middle of the road. And in Canada, religion can be happening, but because I didn't go to church myself growing up, I would just walk straight by the church and not even be aware of a religious practice happening. And I remember just being in awe of watching hundreds of men line up their prayer mats and start praying on the road in Kuwait. And what it was, was just an energy of respect. A collective energy of attention and focus. You know, the whole neighborhood let go of movement and received stillness. Take a few more breaths as you are in this lunge. If you're getting uncomfortable, know that the discomfort will pass. And then we'll just come forward with both the hands. We're going to step the left foot back. Sorry, the right foot back and then just come back into a child's pose and rest the forehead again. Allowing this to be a counter posture.
and then we will come into this lunge pose on the opposite side. So when you're ready, coming all the way forward, leaving your right knee back this time, taking a big step forward with your left foot. Interlacing the palms on the left thigh. And then just settling your gaze at one point. So the yoga practice really is just a time for the energy of devotion and respect and patience and receiving stillness. And it can be practiced in parallel or simultaneously to any religion. Or even if you're not religious, it can be practiced just as a spiritual practice on its own. So what it's suggesting is not to believe in anything in particular, but just that you should believe in something. Take a few more breaths. And then just bring the palms back onto the mat. Bringing your left knee back again. Just sitting back with the heels and resting the forehead.
a couple more breaths in your child's pose. And then come all the way forward. And we're just gonna come onto the elbows and then open through the heart. So this is your Sphinx pose. And then if you want to rotate your palms wider and then just push through the palms and lift the elbows up, it's an option. This is your Sphinx. Knowing that we will be here for a couple more minutes, so let your variation that you choose be sustainable. Take a few more breaths. And then come all the way down, resting your palms. Rest your side of your head on top of your palms. Just let your spine resettle.
can you just slowly start to make your way from your front on your way to your back? Stretching out through the legs and resting the palms to be face up. So we're going to move through a meditative practice called Yoga Nidra. So you can set yourself up on your back with any props that might make you comfortable. So if you want to place a cushion underneath your knees, go for it. If you want to have socks on your feet or blankie or a sweater around you, go for that as well. Stay resting in your Shavasana for as long as you need. And when you're ready, you're just going to do a little wake up wiggle, running a nice stretch through the body, taking your knees into your chest, giving your body a nice big slowly making your way up to your cross-legged shape with your hands at heart center. Closing with our intention that our practice remain steady and our efforts continuous and that our yoga serves and benefits not just ourselves but all beings everywhere. May all beings be safe and happy and healthy and free. And may the thoughts and actions of each of our lives contribute towards this. So we finish with an ohm. We're going to inhale and exhale. Inhale to make the ohm. So take a big breath in. Big breath out. Big breath in. Ooh. Thank you so much for sharing the space and the practice, the light in me. Season honors the light in you. Namaste.